Well, I've been taking a correspondence course in typing and shorthand. That's what was in the envelopes. Are you any good? Yes. Well, I am, actually. Her uh, ladyship wants the phone skirt Lady Mary never wears. The seamstress is going to fit it to Lady Sybil, but I can't find it. I'll come in a minute. They're waiting now. One minute. I'm just changing my cap and apron. Have you told anyone? What did your parents say? Well, I can't tell them till I've got a job. Dad will think I'm a fool to leave a good place and Mum will say I'm getting above myself, but... But I don't believe that. No, do I. How does it work? Oh, it's easy. You just press the letters and they print on the paper. Get back, please. They were trying to hide it, so I knew it was wrong. Where's Gwen now? Doing the dining room with Emma, they'll be finishing. Then I'll wait. With all due respect, Mr Carson, Gwen is under my jurisdiction. Indeed she is, Mrs Hughes, and I have no intention of usurping your authority. I merely want to get to the bottom of it. Why well, shouldn't Gwen have a typewriter if she wants one? Mind your own business. What's that doing here? Ah, Gwen, come in. Why is that down here? Who's been in my room? They had no right. See here. In the first place, none of the rooms in this house belong to you. And in the second, I am in charge of your welfare, and that gives me every right. This is you, isn't it? All we want is to know what Gwen wants with a typewriter and why she feels the need to keep it secret. She wants to keep it private, not secret. There's a difference. Oh, man. I've done nothing to be ashamed of. I've bought a typewriter and I've taken a postal course in shorthand. I'm not aware that either of these actions is illegal. Will you tell us why? Preferably without any more cheek. Because I want to leave service. I want to be a secretary. You want to leave service? What's wrong with being in service? Well, nothing's wrong with it. And there's nothing wrong with mending roads, neither. But it's not what I want to do. I should remind you that there are plenty of young girls who will be glad of a position in this house. And when I hand him a notice, I shall be happy to think one of them will be taking my place. What makes you think we'll work till then? Are you hiring and sacking now, Miss O'Brien? I thought that lay with Mr Carson and Mrs Hughes. Enough of this. I'm going to ring the dressing gong and we'll have no more talk of this tonight. Can I have my machine back now? Very well. But I wish I were sure you know what you're doing. I suppose I've just realised that it's not going to happen. What isn't? Oh, none of it. I'm not going to be a secretary. I'm not going to leave service. I doubt what I'll leave here before I'm 60. Hey, what's all this? Oh, you saw their faces. When they're right, oh, look at me. I'm the daughter of a farmhand. I'm lucky to be a mate. I was born with nothing and I'll die with nothing. Don't talk like that. You can change your life if you want to. Sometimes you have to be hard on yourself, but you can change it completely, I know. Are you busy? Your ladyship. I saw this. It came out yesterday. Look. It's for a secretary at a new firm, Thursk. See? What? Well, I don't understand. How did you know that you wanted to leave? Carson to my father. And you don't mind? Why should I? I think it's terrific that people make their own lives. Especially women. Write to them today and name me as your reference. I can give it without ever specifying precisely what your work here has been. Milady. Thank you. What do you want? I've got a message for Lady Sybil from her ladyship. Thank you, O'Brien. I'll manage now. Odious woman. What does Mama want? I just said that to get rid of her. This came today. Mm -hmm. 
I knew they would want to see you. Well, it's your reference, what's done here. Well, how am I going to get there? They won't let me take a day off. You're going to be ill. They can't stop you being ill. What? No one has seen Anna for a whole day. They won't notice if you vanish for a couple of hours. Anything more thrilling than you, Frog? I suppose not, my lady. You shall have one too. I thought this would be suitable for your interview. Well, I won't be wearing it, my lady. Well, of course you will. We have to make you look like a successful professional woman. What is it? What's happened? Well, I won't wear it because I'm not going. They've cancelled the appointment. They've found someone more suited for the post and better qualified. This time, let's face it, there will never be anyone less suited for the post or worse qualified than I am. That isn't true. You'll see, we're not giving up. No one hits the bullseye with the first arrow. I saw another opening for a secretary and I applied. But you never said. I didn't want you to be disappointed. I thought you'd given up. I'll never give up and nor will you. Things are changing for women, Gwen. Not just the vote, but our lives. But it's tomorrow at 10 o'clock. Last time we waited for weeks and weeks and, and this one's tomorrow. Then we must be ready by tomorrow, mustn't we? skirt down a little, but I can put it back. <laughs> it's yours. What will happen if one of the maids finds her room's empty? Oh, but it would only be Anna. And she wouldn't give me away. She's like a sister. She'd never betray me. No, oh, well, then she's not like my sisters. Walk on. Where were you? You came up, then? Of course I did. I had to change for the afternoon. Did you cover for me? What do you think? I don't suppose this had anything to do with Lady Sybil. Oh, Anna. Well, it was a nightmare. I don't know how I got in without being seen. Well, I'm sure I left a trail of mud up the stairs. So, did you get the job? Well, we'll have to wait and see. You recovered from our ordeal. Well, I got a letter this morning. They must have written it as soon as I left the office. They are pleased to have met me, but I do not quite fit their requirements. So, it was all for nothing. I don't agree. Only a fool doesn't know when they've been beaten. Then I'm a fool, for I'm a long way from being beaten yet. How are you? Bearing up? This isn't the end. You mustn't give up. We'll get there. Forgive me, my lady, but if you don't get it, you're brought up to think it's all within your grasp that if you want something enough, it will come to you. But we're not like that. We don't think our dreams are bound to come true because, because they almost never do. Then that's why we must stick together. Your dream is my dream now. I'll make it come true. Carson said you were here. Oh, just uh, checking that everything's been done right, my lady. Only we never heard back. That is, Miss Dawson never heard back from you. About an interview? Uh, yes. Uh, we, we got the young lady's letter, but the trouble is she didn't have any experience of hard work that I could tell, so... But she's a very hard worker. Well, I couldn't find any proof of it. And she gave you as a reference when uh, you don't run a business, my lady. Well, not that I'm aware of. Lily, can you find Gwen and tell her to come to the hall now? Yes, my lady. The reason Gwen didn't give any more details is because she works here as housemaid. Ah, 
And you thought that would put me off? But she's taken a postal course and has good speeds in typing and Pittman shorthand test her. I will. Have I liked the look of her? Ah, so, young lady, you thought I'd turn up my nose at a housemaid. Why, I did, sir. Well, my mother was a housemaid. I've got nothing against housemaids. They know about hard work and long hours, that's for sure. Well, I believe so, sir. Right, well, is there somewhere we could talk? Gwen, take Mr Bormish to the library. I'll see no one disturbs you. Sorry, Papa, you can't go in there. Why on earth not? Gwen's in there with Mr Bromwich. She's being interviewed. I cannot use my library because one of the housemaids is in there applying for another job. It's about the size of it. Oh. I've got news, my lady. Which is wrong. You've done it, Gwen. You've got the job. <laughs> oh, yeah. Take it. Take it. <laughs> Something to celebrate? Well, I got the job, Mrs. Hughes. I'm a secretary. I'm forgotten. I'm very happy for you, Gwen, and we'll celebrate after we finish today's work. Of course, Mrs. Hughes. 